We are asking where is our God. And um, it's a very, very good question as a Christian to always ask yourself. And in whatever we do, we always want God to be in it. We always want God to be part of it. And when he is always part of what we are doing, success will always be on our way. So last Thursday, we looked at becoming an extraordinary person to do extraordinary things. And uh, we looked at a number of things. Those who were who following us, we said extraordinary people who do extraordinary things. These are people who are always remembered. You see, the Bible does not record. It, it has a few guys who did the bad things, but it's, it's always, uh, we're always reading about people who did extraordinary things. Bible And when people ask where is the God of Elisha? Why is the God of Elijah? Where is the God of Jacob? It means these people did something extraordinary. And that's why when we go to God, we always ask, where is their God? Where is this God who did these mighty things? So we need to become extraordinary. Such that we do those extraordinary things. We, one of the texts we looked at were in Mark 2 verse 1. And we are not going to read today. We are just trying to bring on board those who were not there last Thursday. So we looked at the story of these four men who brought a man to Jesus. And we saw how they did something which was extraordinary. Which made them to stand out from the crowd. And this helped, they enabled this man to receive forgiveness and the healing. And we said it's some of sometimes when we do extraordinary things, we bring healing and 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 overcoming of many difficulties in our families because of one person who decides to do extraordinary things. And we looked at some of the So then we started looking at the ingredients that we need to become extraordinary. So we look at the spirit of not giving up. You must have the spirit of not giving up. Because once you give up, you will not be able to overcome. Because when you are in a, in a maybe competing for something, you must have that spirit of not giving up. And you persist until you reach the goal. So we looked at Mark. 
uh, chapter 5, verse 23. And we also looked at this woman who, ha who had bleeding for so many years. And despite the crowds that were around Jesus Christ. This man this woman persisted. She continued until she touched Jesus Christ. And that was the thing that brought healing in her life. So we said you shouldn't give up. Because in this life we are fighters. And we must fight until we get the reward. You know what you want in life. Because everybody has their own goals. They have the things that they want to achieve. They have the things that they are looking at that they want to get. There is one who wants to become, you know, to be used by God and do mighty things. That those who want to build big estates, that those who want to build very big ministries, that people who have dreams of you know, doing, making, putting up very big companies. So if you want to be that extraordinary person, then you need not to give up. It's until you see now I have achieved it. So, secondly, we looked at creativity. You know that creativity should become your lifestyle. And I think in the nearby future, we will look at creativity in details. Because we looked at creativity at our workplace. At our businesses. In our ministry. In our marriages. And in many other relationships. That we we need to have that creative attitude. That creativity will take us ahead, will take miles ahead. Because without creativity, you will not make it in life. Things will always be hard for you. Because you will be doing things in an ordinary way. So we talked about, you know, that we need to be very useful at our workplace. Such that we profit the organizations and the companies that have employed us. Such that we are people who can do things without anybody pushing us. So number three, we said have faith. That you know faith is what makes us do things even when we are not so sure of what is going to how the success will look like. Because many times, like us in, in, in NGOs, we write what we call success of change. That, you know, success of change is... Uh, you imagine after you have implemented the project, how would that success look like? Yeah, how would that success look like? <laughs> Yeah, but for us here, in, 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 as Christians, we use faith 
Even sometimes when we don't know how our success will look like. No lumunga te tumani na chetugenda kukola, but china ita mchina afana na chitia. But through faith. We do many things. And people who do extraordinary things. There are people who always have faith. They always move with the faith. So that was our number three. So today. We want to continue with our number four. And number four is self-drive. People who do extraordinary things, they always have what we call self-drive. You don't need to push them to do something. They just have that self-drive. And I will give you an example of someone who maybe who is an usher. You know, they, they might be an usher, but they wait for the chief usher to tell them no, the, the pastor team doesn't have water. Or maybe the other chair needs to be cleaned. Or maybe the pastor's office needs to be cleaned. So there is not that self-initiative to do things without being pushed. Or without being told. So if you want to become an extraordinary person, you must have that self-drive. And I'm speaking to someone, you are maybe working in someone's house. Maybe you are in someone's company. If you don't, if you lack self-drive, then your success will be limited. Because the world is now waiting for people who will have self-drive. You know, you have people. I mean, sometimes we have people in our companies. And these person just sits. They can't think. And say so maybe today if the report is needed at this time let me do it before. Or maybe I'm a family leader. I shouldn't wait for the family supervisor to tell me what to do. So long as what I'm doing is in line with what the ministry wants. So you will find people who have self-drive. They always have favor before their bosses. You know, you are you are working in someone's house. And you wait for this boss of yours to tell you. Please clean that table. Please mop the house. Please take, take this mop at the other side. I on the clothes. This compound needs to be clean. People don't have time for you to, to always be telling you that. So have that self-drive. Have that self initiative. And you know the generation of this, this now current generation. They always want to be spoon fed. They always want things to be done for them. But they want you know easy life. They want you know, things to happen just that way. Please have that self-drive. You are driving a company car. But you can't even wash it. 
You are given a company things. They you have a company laptop. laptop You have company properties. But you cannot keep them. You are not a good steward. You just do things for the sake of doing it. Please stop being a wheelbarrow. Be someone who will always have that self drive to do things. I can say many things that people might think I'm at, I will be talking about them. But you see, someone is employed to do a certain work. But you find them seated and they're telling you, I don't have what to do. You say I cannot do anything. I am waiting for instructions. Someone is saying I am waiting for job description. Please have self drive. And that will push you to do extraordinary things. I was reading today morning about Jacob. Ah, no, Jacob, Jacob. Hey, sorry, sorry. Madden Somakuyakobo. And I was looking at the story. When Jacob ran from um from his his brother. When Yakobo Boyaduka Naduko Kuvakumuganda we. And he reached at the well. Natuka Kuluzi. And you know, people, this, the, uh, the, the, the servants were bringing uh, sheep and the animals to be watered. And you know, he started chatting with them. Uh, these stories we'll read them in uh, Genesis chapter 29. But there's something else I want to pick out. So these people, when they are bringing the animals, and, and they started chatting, and they told him, we cannot water our animals until this stone is removed. And Jacob had self-initiative. He didn't wait for people to tell him, Sebo, Tuyambo, you remove this stone. He realized that he needed to do it because that was the only way he needed to get favor before these people. And remember, Rachel had already arrived home. She really, you know, had gotten some interest. So, she, through self initiative, he removed the stone. And this amazed so many people who were watching. And, and I think Rachel was so excited. And he said, what a man. A man who has self-initiative. Who can do things without being told what to do. So self-initiative will make you become an extraordinary person. So don't wait to be told what to do. Because you'll be the same person. Actually, let me tell you this. Those who are at workplace, those who are in businesses, ensure that you do 200%. percent Because that is what is going to make you stand out. <laughs> Because everybody, many people are doing 100%. Many people are doing 100%. 
At the workplace, people are doing a hundred percent. But the person who will stand out is someone who does two hundred percent. Is that if they have sent you to do something, try to do extra things. And we'll be looking at that as we continue. So, have self-initiative is our number three. Number four, yes. yes. Number five. Don't be afraid to be wrong. Oh, yes. No, I think again it comes out very negative. Mm. But don't be afraid to be wrong in what you are doing. Ah, ah, very good. Mm. Don't fear to make mistakes. Because sometimes, the fear of making mistakes holds us back. Because we fear People will laugh at me. In case I fail, in case I don't do it the right way, people will laugh at me. But that now again keeps you behind. Keeps you without trying to do anything. But strive to do something. Make sure you are doing something. And don't mind. Because you are going to make a mistake. Because it's sometimes through mistakes. That's how we learn. You will never learn new things. You will never do extraordinary things. If you are fearing to make mistakes. Because I will give you a story in the Bible of, of these guys who had whom this man left and he gave them things to keep. It's a story told by Jesus Christ. And he gave these servants <laughs> things. So one said I will keep what my servant has given me. Because this man is very tough. <laughs> In case I invest in this money. And I fail. He will kill me. So he kept what, what he was given. But there are those who said, No, I will invest it. And I will make sure it's, I multiply it. What is very interesting, that when the boss came back, he praised this person, he praised this person, no, yet, yeah, yeah, yeah. He thanked the person who multiplied. But this one who kept it, I think he looked at him as someone who was selfish. But this man, why he got the reward, it's because he risked and he never feared to, to make mistakes. He never feared to be wrong. And that's what made him to be rewarded. But because this other one feared to make mistakes, he was never rewarded. So never fear to be wrong. Never fear to make mistakes. Because once that fear enters you, you will never become an extraordinary person. 
I will also give you a scenario of when someone, for someone to become a professor. It takes them a lot of research. This guy write books. They take these books to their mentors. And these people again criticizes them. They will, you know, try to correct and sometimes make them redo the things. But these people don't give up. They don't say um, that time I was wrong the other time I made mistakes so let me leave this thing no they persist and continue so don't fear to be wrong because through that you are going to become victorious and you become an ordinary person I mean extraordinary person the other thing, purpose to thrive in bad and tough situations. Because tough situations and hard times is what makes the champions. The people you see we praise. The people you see we talk about and na, remember. Na there are people who purpose to thrive amidst the hardest situations that many people give up and say, I can't manage. Because leaders are known by being able to overcome and managing to go through tough and bad situations. So extraordinary people purpose to thrive in these tough situations. When you read the numbers 13 verse 30 to 31. We can read that and we, we, let us see the story of Caleb. Uh, 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 Caleb. Mm, but we we'll just speak to those few verses. Mm. Verse 30. 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 Verse 30. Verse 30. Verse Tuambuke maanguago. Tujire kubanga mm -hmm. tui inziza dala mm -hmm. okuja, oku, okuji wangula. Aha, asatu murumu. Na ya abantu, mm -hmm. abaya ambukira wamu na ye, Aha. nebagamba tetu inza <laughs> kwa ambuka <laughs> kubantu wabo. <laughs> kubanga batu kiliza amanyi. You know, I love the English version, the last part said, we can't attack those people mm. because they are stronger than us. Kubanga batu kiza amanyi, batu singa amanyi, tetusobola kuambuka kubenganga. Caleb were sent by Moses Kalebu, neba, neba to go and spy to go and see the land that God was going to give them. And this were a toll of men. <laughs> and this man came back. Two only, Jacob, I mean Caleb and Joshua. They're the ones who pass and they say, 
we are going to thrive even if there are stronger men on the other side. Because we must overcome them. We shouldn't fear them. But the rest were panicking. They were quaking. Fear was inside them. And for them their purpose was to fail. Because they, they never thought they can thrive in a tough situation. They didn't know that for you to be an extraordinary person. You had to go and over and attack these guys. To go and hit them and overcome them. So that's why Caleb says and he silenced all of them that we should go and take the possession of the land. For we can certainly do it. You know Caleb is one of the characters in the Bible I love so much. I love I have my characters in the Bible and I love those guys. I just pray one day when we go to heaven. At least God, we meet those guys if they are there. I would just want to see these guys. Because every time I read about them, I get encouraged. That I need to purpose and thrive. So when you are doing something, wherever you are, purpose to thrive. Even if when the situation is tough, even if people you know. Everybody is sinning. You find everybody is doing all funny things. But purpose to thrive. It doesn't matter what other people are saying. It doesn't matter what people are talking about you. It doesn't matter what information the world has about you. It shouldn't matter how people are saying you cannot make it. When everybody is negative, when everybody has turned against you, when everybody has given up, but pass to thrive. And this is what's going to make you an extraordinary person. But the moment you start hearing what the crowd is saying, and you give them your ears, you give them your thoughts, you will never become an extraordinary person. You will always remain the same. Because the people are full of negativity. People are full of negative things they talk about you. But purpose to thrive. And you know once you purpose to thrive, God will always come on your rescue. When you read Numbers 14, 24, you can read it for us. And you see what, because of what Caleb had done and he said in chapter 13, verse 20. See what God does in Numbers 14 verse 24. You can read for us. Mm -hmm. Yes. I know more Yes. Oyo, ndi mureta munsi, jendi genda mu, 
nezaderie lili jira amina i would just love what this one says lili jira nezaderie lili jira the english one says mm. We are in Numbers 14, 24. He says, but because my servant Caleb has a different spirit mm. and follows me wholeheartedly. I love that word. That and he has a special spirit upon him. And remember all of us have a special spirit from the Lord. And when we purpose to thrive, then God will always come to our rescue. And God continues and says, I will bring him into the land he went to. And his descendants will inherit it. When you purpose to thrive, that's the only way you will bring inheritance to your people. You see, it is always very bad to die and the inheritance that the children get from you is only poverty. Because in one or the other, you inherit something from your parents. So others inherit poverty. Others inherit wealth. But when you purpose to thrive, in anything that you are doing, at least you will leave some inheritance for your children. And this will not be poverty. But it will be something that will push them ahead. So purpose to thrive as Caleb purposed. And actually, when you read the Bible, it was only Caleb and Joshua who entered the promised land. The rest were killed because of their negative attitude, because of fear. Because of not purposing to thrive, they ended as ordinary people. <laughs> and it's very interesting. There are the other people who went with the Caleb to spy. When they become negative, <laughs> that was the end of their story. The Bible again does not mention them anywhere. But you see, Caleb continues. He continues. Even with Joshua. They continue on the Bible up to today. We still give them as very good examples to us as Christians. So we need to purpose to, to thrive. The other thing is that push beyond your limits. People who want to become extraordinary, they are people who push beyond their limits. You push beyond the limit. You know when people are, 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 are running five steps for you you go ten steps when people open their shops at eight you open yours at seven if People start making chapatis at eight. You start making yours at seven. And 
And I will tell you this out of experience. Last Sunday. Sunday we day. You know, when they opened up and they said, you know, we should, we should we start coming with the uh, children who are going to start Sunday school. So always when we, have, when we are coming with the children, we come for second service. So on Sundays, my children always tell me, Daddy, we want chapati and uh, sumbusa and many other things. They always don't want bread. So on Sunday, this last Sunday, I woke up. Nazukuka. Went to our couples just in Rusazi. Nengenda wo muka trading center kafao Murusazi. It was eight. Sawa zali bidi kumacha. And I wanted to buy chapati. Eranga njaga la kugula chapati. But there was nobody. Nengenga te wali muntu ye na. Who was ready with the chapati? E yali inga chapati zeze ziide. At eight. Kusawa bidi ezo kumacha. Everybody, many of them were just now. Trying to start, you know, putting a flood, doing this and that. And I asked myself, there is no one here who can do an extraordinary thing. Who can start making chapatis at seven? Such that when people, those who go to church early, and they want to buy things for their children they will buy so by the time these other ones come at 8 for you I have already sold like maybe 30-40 chapatis so what will make you an extraordinary person is to go beyond your limit some of us it is over sleeping that has kept us in the same position. You enjoy sleep. But you know what you will do? You enjoy sleep. And you say you cannot wake up at this at very early. <laughs> that those you meet and they tell you. My brother. You know sleep is always sweet at five. You know, I can't wake up very early. I need to sleep. So you oversleep. Then you open up your shop. Sometimes at 8.30 Sometimes at 9 You are in that arcade There are people who want to buy things very early in the morning Before they go to office But you are also waiting for everybody to open Push beyond the limit. There are those who are making money through internet. They are selling their items on Facebook. Go beyond the limit. Push beyond your limit. If you are working, Everybody is leaving office at five. For you, if you know there is still work, push beyond the limit. Do more things. You know, everybody is selling the same things. You are on the same stall. Push beyond the limit. You are a maid. You are working in someone's home. But you also want to wake up with your boss. You want even your boss to come and knock on your door. To say, please wake up. Go and do this. Wake up very early. You want to come to, to the workplace and arrive at the same time with your boss. Why can't you come very early? 
So by the time the boss comes to open that shop, you read at the door. That's how people gain favor. That's how people become extraordinary. So brethren, push beyond the limit. Don't do things like ordinary people. You are a child of God. You are a special person. How will people know the God who is in you? How will people know the difference between a Morocole and that one who is not a born again? Actually, the Bible expects us born again to be doing extraordinary things. Because the Bible says we are the light to the world. We are the one who showed the world the light. So So if you are the and the one comes late and you are the weakest, you as a and as a the weakest, you are the laziest. Now, so how will this boss differentiate between a born again who knows the truth and the one who is not born again? So Kera. So come early. As a born again, you will be the first to open the shop before others. Even if, if it is possible, you would even pray and make your altar before the customers come. And you open and keep your altar burning in your shop. But you are opening even when others have already opened. As you are starting to pray, and then your neighbor asks and greets you, oh, good morning. Then you come out of the prayer and say, hey, good morning. And you are, again, you start to pray. Again. A person, your neighbor says, assist me with the bucket and I so can pray. And that's when you see your prayers have no where they are going. So push beyond the limit. When you read the Genesis 29, verse 20, we want to see how Jacob pushed beyond the limit. Mm-hmm. You can read um, 20, 21, um, yeah, up to 20. Read 20, uh, 21, 23. Uh, Yakobo, Abidim Mwenda, sorry, Olubide, Abidim abiri Mwenda, mm-hmm. uh, Ulinu Yorabidi. Mm-hmm. Yakobo, now where is the Miakam Samvu? Mm-hmm. Ewabwe. Mm. Sorry. Yakobo, now where is the Miakam Samvu? Awebuela Kiri. Nejifana Nanga in Naku, singing Uruqua Gala, Kuya Muagala. Yakobo Nagamba Laban in Timpa, Mukazuange, Kubange, Naku, Zange, Zitu Kiride, Ningire, Jari, Labani, Nakunganya, Basajabona, Abo Muchifo, Nafumba, Embaga, Aurwatu, Kakaungezi, Nadidale, Omana Way, Namuere, Namu Muletera. Na ingira jari. Mm-hmm. Laba ni na mwa zulupa omzana we. Mm-hmm. Eri omwana we reya mm-hmm. okuba omzana. Mm-hmm. Aorwatu uka encha na laba nga yereya. Mm-hmm. Na gamba laba ni niti mm-hmm. chino chichi chonko ze. Sikuweleza lwa lakeri. Kale chichi mm-hmm. echikuna echikuna nimbiza. Aha. Uh-huh. Nabani na yo geranti mm. Tebako la bweba tiyo mm-hmm. Mchifocha fe mm-hmm. Okuwa omuto Okusoko ombelie belie mm-hmm. Mala ena kumusavu mm-hmm. Ezo mm-hmm. Tulioke tukuwe Omu lala Okumuweleza Okukuweleza mm-hmm. Kono mpeleza na te Emiaka e musavu Emirala Esu chenjaka denyo nyenyo Int Jacob, Jacobo, fell in love with Rachel. And the Bible says, 
Laban told him, if you want this lady, work for seven years. I think ah, there is a, a serious message here. I, 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 <laughs> I think Laban. There was a Laban. Oh, just okay, but Laban is someone who was seeing ahead. There was a Laban. He had your mind to yenga alaba ebiyomu maso. Because he knew very well that this man was not going to marry Rachel before he marries Leah. So Laban was a very focused man. But Jacob, I think he did not take time to study. I think that's why people say love is blind. <laughs> Kuziba amaso. Kuziba amaso. Kwaziba Yakoba amaso. Oh, kwaziba it blinded Jacob's eyes. Nata manya. And he never understood. That actually a Jacob le rami ya kakuminena. He will work for 14 years. Baraka tude kunjiriyafi. Let us go back to our gospel. So, Jacob is sold to work for seven years. Yakoba agambi wokole miya kamsam. The man works for seven years. Omusajono na ajukole miya kejo musam. And after seven years, ere miya kamsam weja itawo. They give him someone else. Neva muwa muntu omulala. But because this man loved Rachel, na yolo akubangwa ye yali ayagala le. And there is something he wanted. Ere wali we chintu ye yali ayagala. He had to push beyond the limit. Yali ayino kongera sindi koko sukuluma we yali ayino koma. Let me just give you this illustration. Kakati kanku we chokula bira kochino. When you are in a journey, bobera mulugendo, and you are walking, go tumbler. Then someone is telling you we are going to Kasubi. And you are walking from Karerwe. So when you are in Karerwe, someone tells you that you see the other hill. That is Kasubi. But the hill is telling you it is Makerere. Now you start working with a lot of energy. And you put in a lot of energy from Karerwe because you are seeing Makerere Hill. And you are seeing I'm about to reach. There is that energy you put in. But just imagine after reaching Makerere Hill and someone tells you ah uh, ah uh. Muganda wang. Sebo. Tuli masekati goru ke. We are just in the middle of the journey. Wano makerere. This is makerere. Kasubi achari eri. Kasubi is still afar off. I am telling you. It takes an extra energy. It takes someone who will push beyond the limit. To again walk. To Kasubi. Otherwise. Many people they always put in uh, they put in excuses. Then you'll see them telling you that me, I don't work with liars. Now I've given up. I will not go and continue that journey. No, I want to continue. You can't lie to me and this like that. You would have told me that the journey is far But for you, you told me that it is very near. And even the food I had prepared is over. Now what will take me and sustain me until Kasubi? But Jacob never gave up. He pushes beyond the limit. And the Bible says he worked again for another seven years. Because he knew what he wanted. Because when you know what you want, and you know you want to become an extraordinary person, you must push beyond the limit. You must do something beyond what any other person is doing. And that's what Jacob did. The other point is that put your thoughts and words into action. Because 
Because this is what has again kept people in the same position. People have very good plans. People have very good thoughts. But they never put them into action. You would find someone who can give you a very good road map. If you ask them what they are going to do this year. I am telling you people have thoughts. But the biggest problem. They never put these thoughts into action. Because people who are extraordinary, they always speak thoughts after thinking about something. Then they put it into action. And I will tell you this. That's, that's what makes that was brings the difference between the rich and the poor. Because the rich they put their thoughts into action but the poor for them their thoughts remains into their thoughts and when you look at them they have very good plans and actually very many rich people are amongst their friends they always have poor people. Never think that a rich man will only have friends who are rich. No, they also have poor people around them. Because poor people have very good thoughts. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> if you have money, and I'm speaking to you this evening. <laughs> so have friends also who are poor. These guys have very good thoughts. But the biggest problem is that they never put any of it into action. So I'm speaking to you who always have very big dreams. You know you have very huge dreams of constructing a house of you know buying a plot put those things in action. You see someone who can speak <laughs> you know many this year I am going to buy a plot of land and they even tell their wife we are going to buy a plot wife big calm we are going to buy a plot but the man gets but when God gives this man 2 million shillings they consume all of it he is waiting for 10 million or oh, he is waiting for a miracle of 20 million and then they go and buy the plot of land but rich people even if they get 2 million shillings, when their dream is to buy land they start to move around and make research whom can I buy land by depositing just 2 million shillings and they stay with the debt such that I can keep paying in installments until I finish paying up that plot of land. And by the time you find this person, he has bought a plot of land. But when they have taken a whole year paying for it, but there is another one who says, I'm going to buy a plot. I am going to buy a plot. I will buy a plot. And then he becomes Mr. who will buy a plot. So you keep on pushing things ahead. Because your actions, you don't put them in, in, I mean, your thoughts, you don't put them into action. 
So you remain dreaming. And we will call you Mr. Dream or Mrs. Dreamer. But you will never attain anything. So put those thoughts into action. And that will make you a different person. <laughs> you see, I've met people that they give you very beautiful plans. And when they talk, you see this man or oh, this woman, in the next three years, they are going to be rich. But after talking, the thing remains there. And they don't take any detraction. And I'm telling you, you have said so many things. You have put so many thoughts. But the reason why you are in the same position, because none of it, you have put into action. You know, you tell us, usually they tell us, uh, next time I'm going to marry. But when there is nothing you're putting in action, there is nothing you'll attain. You will not marry. So put your thoughts into action. And this will make you attain many things. Like James 2, James chapter 2, verse 17. And verse 18. You can read for us if you, if you have gotten it. Yakobo Bidi, Kumina Musam, Vene Kumina Munana, Era, no cookie is away, could you? Bekuta Bako be called Wa, Hoka, Nakufu. Now your moon to Adiogan, Auntie, we only know cookie is a Nange, Nina, a Bikola, Naga or cookie is a co, Awatali Bikola. Nange, or webi korabi ange, nikulago kukiriza kwange. It's through actions. Tikuita, mubi korua. You get faith. O fudo kukiriza. Because of the thoughts that you have. O webi do wozobi And you put that into action. Echo no chiteka mungkola. And that's how people will see that you have faith. Echo habantu wa jokula vidanti o ino kukiriza. I was telling you the difference. Between our business people and us in this other world, because the business people, when they hear that this thing makes money, for them they will get their money. They will go and put in it. If they make money, they thank God. If they make a loss, they know that was a part of the game. Actually, if you analyze very well, the people who exercise faith are the business people. Business people exercise faith. Because they bring things without, they have not called any person that they will come and buy them. But they will continue. So put these things in action. And you will succeed. So don't leave your actions I mean, don't, don't just live in your thoughts. <laughs> Put them into actions. We are about to finish. And lastly, believe in yourself. Believe in yourself that it is possible. You see, people who do extraordinary things, they are people who believe in themselves. The moment you have doubt in you, you see, this doubt kills that. 
Wevu sabusa, wenyoma, mm. chikuta mulimunda. Yeah. Because, you know, they tell you, you can't do that. Eh, 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 Sometimes they tell you, this, you can do this and say, um, I can't do that. Me, I can't do that. That is a sasoma. I'm not well educated. You know, I do not know English. You know, believe in yourself. Because when you believe in yourself, and you believe in your God, God is more powerful. And that's why we are we telling you to believe in yourself. Because when you have doubts, it demeans you. You remain at a low position. But just you know, that he who is in us is greater than the one in the world. Actually, when you read first John, verse, I mean chapter 4, verse 4. We can read that as we conclude. Mm -hmm. Mu era muba wangula mm -hmm. kubanga ali mumwe mm -hmm. asinga obukulu ali munsi I love yes that first uh, part B of that verse njagala nyo akutundu ba akolu nyiriliyo because it's because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world kubanga ali mumwe asinga obukulu ali munsi because if you want, to, if you are going to do extraordinary things, uh, this should be one of the things that need to be part of you. Knowing that the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. And is might and able to make you do extraordinary things. So stop the spies yourself. Stop thinking you cannot make it. Pass to thrive. Pass to put your thoughts into action. And life, you are going to make it in everything that you want to attain in life. And I want to thank you. And I want to ask God to bless you so much for watching us and listening to us this evening. And it's my prayer that God makes you, you that God might help you to become an extraordinary person. Sarah, you may get to know and discover where is the God of Elijah. And you might such that you become someone who will bring deliverance to your family. Someone who will leave inheritance to his children or her children. Someone who will always be remembered by their family. So let us pray. Mukama tuwa galo kwebaza. Tuwa galo kutendereza uraka ungeza kalero. Mkwebaza mukama uruo mchala no mwami ampulidizo na kuruwa lero. Mukama muteka umikono jai kabaka. Manyindi tuya tulubiriwa okutuka kubintuwe virunji mubula mubuno. Atulubiriwa no kuingiru waka waka ubo mugulu kabaka. Netata nsaboru na kuruwa lero aitata. Kwa ata kuyo mchala. Kwa ata kuyo mwami. Kabako ya wada kole bintu ngevi avuli jo. Atandi kukole bintu mungeri ye yenja ulai kabaka. Ama ntupa soboro kulabo obuloko lo obumolimu. Ama ntupa soboro kwe gombo obuloko le. Ama ntupa soboro kwe gombo obula mwe. Ama ntupa soboro kumuju kila neba gamba gundi oyo. Babata limu chifochino. Tuba tumisinge chintuwe chamanyi. Mukama nsabiro mwami oyo. Muteke koku ganja. Nsabiro mchalo oyo. Muteke koku ganja. Teka koku ganja li ababali mu businessi. Ababali kumirime jenja ulo. Ababali monsize buero waikabaka. Abakole mirimu. Abali awaka. Abamba kole mirime jenja ulo. Abamba kolo wa driver. Abamba limu maduka. Abamba ina businessi zawe zebakola. Aikabaka. Mbasabiro mukisa. 
basabira kabaka ndi bine bigambo byetuogera kabaka de kabere bigambo bigendo okola mu bulamu bwabwe bibere bigambo bero bigendo kyuso bulamu bwabwe bibere bigambo bigendo okulete ke ebyenja ulo bulamu bwabwe ikabaka babera abantu abenja ulo babera abantu abakole ebintu ebisana babera abantu buli omu bana alabiranga ko Dear Lord, we want to thank you, my Father. We want to bless you, and name, King of Glory. What will it again? I'm master, no kusaba. Again, I'm master, no kuno nyeri nyariye. You who is listening and watching, watching us, continue to pray. Continue to ask God. You know yourself. You know what is in your life. You know how you have been doing things. You know areas where you need to adjust. You know areas where you need to change. Go before the Lord and tell him all your weaknesses. Work on your weaknesses and make, become stronger where you are, you are strong. Work on areas where you are weak that you become an extraordinary person. Mokama nkwebaza, mokama nkutendereza Yesu. Nsabira aba ntubona mokama, ababa de mkusiva aitata. Mbasabira omukisa kabako wechisa. Nolu nako uluencha ikabaka. Nalo tulute kamikono ojota ato wechisa. Nde mokama otuwa nidide, ojo tulunga miya ikabaka. Ofuke kwa aba mafuta bagendo himirira. Ofuke kwa aba mafuta mkama bagendo kole ebie ncha ulo. Aba wele zabo na mkama ambasabira. Osoboro kubasobo seza mkama. Na aba aba ntubona kabaka bagendo ndo kujolo na kolwencha basabira omukisa basabira omukisa ogwenja ulai kabaka basabira tatu obere nabo nsaba mukamo lemo kubalekerera kabako wechisa weyongera kubayi musayi kabaka weyongera kubera nabo tatu wechisa nsabira abasumba bafwe mukama beyongera kubateka kama futa kabako wechisa basobolo kole ebintu ebyenja ulai tata basobolo kole ebintu ebili extraordinary kabaka naba na bane family za bwenzi sabira ikabaka sabira buli muwereza ena mu kifo kino tata Sabiro mukisa kabaka musabira sobolo kole ebintu ebiri ekiswa ordinary tata sabira buli chino mu mukama sabira ne muganda wange ai kabaka mukwano gwange katete musabira mukama weyongero kumuyi musatata ye yongero kole ebintu ebitali bya buli jai kabaka inti weyongero kubera no kuganja maso gaba kama abe ne kumulimo wakolera ai kabaka buli chimucha kwa dalaka kirabo mukisa mukama sabira family zafe ziwo mukisa ai kabaka Sabira na baba tuuliza mukama bawo mukisa baina byeta gwe byenja wulo ne kabaka bira nabo webale ayi mukama webale tatu luku nkozesa webale mukama lomo yo mtu kuvugo tuwereza a tulungamiza mukama kubale tutandise pakale tumaliliza tukwebaza kabaka tukwebaza katonda wafe oli wamanya ayi mukama oli wachisa mulinya eliya Yesu Kristu tusabye nokukiriza amina